Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day It's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good. Hello, hello, kitties. Scooch hand, babe. Mm -hmm. What scooch? Scooch, scooch, scooch. Scooch here. Scooch. Axel, scooch. Good morning. Hey, Ted. Good morning. Hey, AJ. Ted. How you doing, man? How are those cats doing? Gonna let the room build up. Extra show power. Oh, we didn't play the Saturday intro, but that's okay. Today is spill the tea Saturday, and George is like, "We're still doing a live." I was like, "Well, heck yeah, I still want to yap 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 today." We got a bunch going on. We'll tell you guys about it here in a minute. So we're gonna wrap up on our week, um, and what's been going on. We have a few stories this morning. Um, we will open up the panel here in a little bit, but we'll be talking about two kids um, that sadly passed away here in the last 12 hours. Uh, hey. We'll talk about the Chocolate Hill Resorts, E-Trikes, Mark Thornton, and Friends. Yeah. In good times yeah. and bad times, I'll be on your side. Hey, sing with me, babe. All right? No, That's I can't sing friends. this. I I can do oh, a lot of on. things, but not sing. I'll just Why sing is this way? All right. So, hey, That's um, what, Tim, is this? That's what friends are for. Mm -mm. Do do Elton John for me. Mm -mm. In good times, yeah, I can't sing. Times, oh look, anyway, he actually breaks it down. But anyway, we will be although, talking I don't know about why it's showing that. a conspiracy. We've been huh. contacted by a few people, and. We will be putting up a mystery photo. We want you guys to explain to us what's going on in this photo. And only you can comment, okay, in case Mark gets super sensitive on this one. Okay, uh, we have the Filipina P, a day and a vlogger. Quite interesting. This is exactly the way that I picture her. Um, not the rest of you stinky thinking guys. But <laughs> true story, you know what they're thinking about all the time. Probably her shower scene. No, but... not her shower scene. It, it would be her... Um... Jumping out of the pools in slow motion. So um, we did leave a message. We we do watch the Filipina P guys. So I left a message on there. This no, no, no. Yeah, video. again, nothing against her. No. Um, and uh, we'll do a small recap um, on the passing away of Michael. Okay, Richie. Um, we got a lot of messages praising that we had found out more information. I do have a slight update and twist that we spoke to our son about this morning okay and i don't know if i want to mention it until it actually happens we sent that to members ted um i told you who we were in contact with or contact we've been contacted i said who might be covering this story ted so i did tell ted i believe i told sarah too so um oh no no no, no. my screensaver showed some up uh a photo of like chocolate hills but it's not it's actually um northern ireland but it looked like the chocolate hills but yeah. yeah i had footage of what was going on there i might look it up and and update really hey oh, uh, gary coleman is running right. loose with hey paper. tim just real quick i mean i mean i'm honestly because again i'm i'm like i never claim i know everything um this is this is not the first time i've seen shaka bra 
Yeah, yeah exactly. What does that so mean? Like, I mean, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just asking because honestly, I, I don't know. I think we mentioned like Shaka Khan or something. I joked about the last. Yeah. Time, no, so honestly, I'm, I'm asking where it is. What's the reference? That's all. I mean, because you know, I'm actually a very curious guy. I actually, I'll ask a ton of questions. So if you guys watch my videos, you guys should know that by now. Um, was that? Who is it? Is it? You're going to have to, while we're letting the room build up, he found the one piece of paper on the floor and it's rattling loud and they will hear that. Oh, your top, wait. The puppy, can you please? Oh, she, I can't, she found she, it, okay. Yeah. So we were discussing our new puppy, Chloe. Uh, we don't think she's as young as she actually appears. She does all kinds of things. Like, I'm thinking she's more along six months old because she can do everything. She can climb stairs. She listens to commands. And they tried to say they thought she was around three months old. I don't think they looked at all of her teeth, but she's like, that's why I joked about her being a little Gary Coleman. Uh, now, you know, if you pick her up, she's going to want to stay up here the whole time. No, so in case you guys didn't see Chloe, she is a mix of what Willie is outside. And she has she a heart on her head. See, you the, see heart the heart on her, on her head? head? So we got her in February as a Valentine's gift. Funny, George found the one puppy with a heart on her head, literally. Put her head down. Get the Da, da, da. So, um, so good morning, good morning. George will go through and say the hellos again. We'll put the uh panel that's uh, that's what we call an emergency A ration. That's what the cats were for, and why an A ration? Oh, not a, a D ration. Okay, well, C ration is the common um uh, military ration, which is the flavored. Can it's kind of like for um a best way to explain lemon's terms like Campbell soup you know that's basically what the C ration is. A ration is the one when you see that they have that big giant pot that they cook it mm -hmm. and then they serve it to you. Mm -hmm. Basically, A and B rations is when they cook it and then they give it to the soldiers. So yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> right. AJ Aloha all oops um early no no well no not really um we were doing it when when the time changed, Ted, my man sometimes we might do it at 10 o'clock but right now I think we're kind of balancing back out at nine time change happens next year we'll probably go back to 10. yeah we're training just for you guys yeah. and Saturday is our normal day it's been kind of off this week because of the covering of the range 999 um and the american who passed hey adam away. So, doing it yeah the thumbnail yeah 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 hey bruce how you doing bruce davis says hey howdy george everyone good good morning good morning good evening yeah thank you for reminding me um good morning something yeah so you can see the uh Tim, yeah, no, I saw. Tim Huss says, "I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket, even if I had a lid on it." I like that one. I like that one. I've never heard of that one. That's a good one. That's I like that one, Tim Huss. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Tobias, oh, you're in the IT Tobias, park. Hello. Yeah, GM and Heidi and George from IT Park Cebu. How you doing, man? Yeah, it's oh Saturday. oh it's right it's right Friday that's right. In the US, yeah, right. work all day and now we're tired. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Tim has too. He's dragging. It'd be like six o'clock in California, give or take. <laughs> hey Roy, how you doing, man? Roy Estrada. Um, how? I guess George will never be heartless. <laughs> oh hey Scott, how you doing, man? Yeah. Hi Scott. Yeah, hey Scott. Yeah, we still. Yeah, check out Scott in the World's as I see this guy's a YouTube channel. Oh, it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm just thinking right. of other stuff there. Yeah, yeah so we, we'll still get into it. Uh, we'll start, and that way we can open the panel up and everything. So I'm trying to figure how we want to do this. Well, we probably want to st would wait start with the, the MT story. Let's start yeah. with the least of the stories here. That's people, what I mean. Um, so we'll start with the Filipina pea. She put a video up in the last 24 hours. It's a day in the life of the Filipina pea. She definitely is a cat lover. Um, it's a great video. 
is she's always well scripted um and a lot of people refer to her as the original filipina out there doing things but she's not the only filipina she's a she's one of a lot of them that cover one of many yes and letting people know about life in the Philippines, okay? Some love her and some don't like her. We like the P. We don't always agree like a lot of vloggers, but there's nobody that we can't stand at all, or we would actually say that, guys. That looks like Monster Hunter. Oh, well, yeah, she's a gamer for sure. So, um, but I found it to be really cute. We left a message, you know, like it was a great video, well edited and stuff. So it was a very, it's a 40 second clip of her footage. Um, <laughs> um, she's got a lot of people helping. She's got a cameraman. There were a few comments referring. Well, to yeah, I mean, a she, she has a crew or, now, which is again, there's something wrong, something with, wrong that. with that. Yes, she has a crew now. She has somebody who does some editing. She has somebody who does some camera. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. However, the the problem is whenever you do that, you're I'm not again. It's not an attack. It's not an attack. It doesn't matter. Who, doesn't matter who it is. If you kind of lease out certain things, your style kind of gets lost. If that makes any sense. Yeah. yeah. And for that group over there, we like the group of guys that are over there, but we don't watch them as much anymore because here's the thing: when it comes to Mark Thornton, Paul. Um, and there's a bunch of them. I've even seen, seen the same people pop off on other channels. They interview the same people. Like literally the interviews just go around in a circle with the same guys. If you have noticed, they go from one, they go to Paul and then Mark will interview them. And then I've seen them on, uh, Mike's, uh, Philippine retirement because, and then Mike's Philippine retirement. And a lot of the guys that are all in that circle and they start feeding you all the feed all come from the same group of people and so it's they kind of repeat the same thing so you like you know i mostly watch paul and everything then they start feeding you anyways well okay part i think part they of the all interview the same people sometimes yes I, that's what i'm saying i think it's um that's what people call clout chasing which means they they do something to get views because they know it gets views they do it over and over and over Back and forth. Yeah. yeah we just cover things because we like to cover them because they're exciting nobody's getting paid nobody's getting clout here we wouldn't get clout if they tattooed that on me in that bar the other night now that would be content <laughs> yeah you're gonna get a tattoo no when we get hey they do wedding tattoos here no yeah not even a wedding tattoo no babe babe okay guys so again i've designed tattoos and i've had tattoos on other people however i personally it's just one of those things that my family doesn't <laughs> believe in and that's all it's what if i believe in it for for us getting remarried i'm not saying you can't you wouldn't do it for me because you love me even a wedding tattoo just a small little thing they did there's a whole philippine group that just did it and people have been doing the filipinos Hold been on. doing it so what what i love you i love you you wouldn't do it for me oh poopsie whoopsie and i love you you know what that's I love you know what you. happened with that same string hey george Obviously, you don't remember 12 hours ago. No, I don't think so. That doesn't work. George, look at me in the eyes. No? You don't need no help. You better stop, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah, I would just wait. Have you noticed when Mark interviews a person and he says, where are you from? Mark has lived there. No, he agrees with everybody. He always says that it goes today i have my friend here he opens up every single today i have my friend here he, he everybody's his friend that he interviews i'm like and that's the same one that 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 paul did and it's like sloppy seconds in angel city or something they pass him around like a rag doll yeah well now here's the thing right i'm not defending they're, Mark they're jumping in the same or pool. not 
um, defending. I'm not defending Mark or am I agree? But, but there are people who have been in every every 55 states of the USA. I'm not sure if he's one of those. He could be. I don't know. But I get your I get your point. I mean. Well, here's the thing. It's like CNN or like all the news. Sometimes like we're, we're going to cover a story about the teacher um, having a little fun on a bench in school. The same one that slapped her student. But um, it's the stories do go around. And I get that. But if it's an actual interview of an expat, this is a small even even Paul is still small prize at 90,000. OK, really surprising. And. When they pass the same person's interview around, them guys all watch those same channels, or at least part of their people do. Like part of our people watch Mike's, you know, Philippine Journey and a bunch of these other people. I get it. The regular guy, the Philippine P and all that. But if the P interviewed somebody and then went over to regular guy and then the same with the regular guy interviews, he everybody interviewed him. When he was there in Dumaguete, all the guys interviewed him. I believe even didn't the Filipino P have the regular guy on at one point? No, I don't think so. Okay. I could have sworn the P admit up. It's possible. Guy. Don't get me wrong. I mean. Yeah. Let me know about that, guys. But I know that he went. Same thing. George knows that if a story came out, like when Sunshine. Um, all right. So the story was in there about the American passing away in Cebu. Within a 12-hour period, Sunshine did it. We knew about it. A lot of us knew about it. I said, no, we're just going to wait till Tuesday. And I'm glad we did because. Recently, we just broke yesterday a bunch of new information on the guy. And then it was like, I told George, I said, I don't know. You know, I don't know about covering it anymore. Sometimes I get like, you know, I get like that. Well, I, do. Like, I did I mention several times it. in the early um, footages or lives we had. I said, remember, you're only hearing Part the, the range story. 999 side. We have never heard of the American side. And then we did break out the American side, which... Unfortunately for Range 99, the American side of the story makes more sense. And you're like, ah, okay, since we're in that top of you, let me go with it. Well, hold on a second. I okay. just got a message from the source about Range 999 just now this morning. Actually, actually, as of yeah, I see that. 10 it's, minutes it's, ago, it's we just got a bunch fresh. of messages exciting okay we'll talk about that here in a little bit and i'll address it in case she's actually watching we know there are several that actually Hello. but yeah i mean there's always a spin to actually put on a story but when you pass <laughs> it's probably her when you pass around the same when you pass around the same interview and they're telling the same story it, it's just like that i would i'm sorry it just you know, unless that person puts a new spin on it, usually they don't. Because Paul usually asks almost the exact same questions unless it's pertaining to say, hey, how was it in Colorado? Or how was it? But it's he's it just couldn't do it. But it's, you know, but it is good and it is entertainment at the end of the day. So, um, yeah. Um, hey, Corner Clubhouse Cobalt, how you doing? Nice to see you, man. Um, Now this is actually oh, okay. So, um, real quick. Okay. Sorry, babe. Sorry. No, you're fine. Ted explained what the shaka was. Did you get the the shaka shaka bra? Yeah, he did. Uh, the term shaka is is not a Hawaiian word. It's attributed to David Lippy Espenda, a used car pitch man who ended TV his TV commercials in the '60s with a gesture and enthusiastic shaka bro. 1976 Shaka sign was the key element in Frank Fozzi's third campaign for the mayor of Honolulu. So, got it. So okay, so it's it's it. Picture. Well, so it's a um, I guess <laughs> car salesman Hawaiian um, vernacular. I guess. Thank you for educating educating us. No, no, no. Honestly, I just want to know because. I mean, I don't we'll, know everything. We'll save Never the did. Michael thing here in a little bit when we get through some more of this and then open up the panel. Um, yeah, um, that's really nothing. Um, Andrew says again, do you think there are conversation class between Americans and American speaking Filipinos with British English? Like misunderstandings and meanings, I notice at times it can be misheard. No, I don't think so. The reason why I say that is 
normally if somebody is intelligent enough to converse in English and they don't understand something, I said normally, I'm not saying all. Normally they're intelligent enough to ask, like, I don't understand what you're saying, which means please clarify. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're so no, I don't think I don't think there's a misunderstanding. The misunderstanding is when somebody is somewhat educated in English and then they're not they're gonna shut up and not bother ask. Kind of like me. If I don't understand something, I will ask. Don't get me wrong. But there are people who will never ask. And they'll come up with some whatever thing they come up with their head. Okay, this is probably what it means. And then that's when misunderstandings occurs. All right. The next story that we're going to cover. So like I said, we'll go through the comments here in a little bit. Um, that way we can get the stories out and then get your opinion um, on these different things. Um, next story we have is a husband and son walk in on a female teacher, their mother and wife, um, having relations on a bench at 930 at Bunko, night. As I say, Bunko. Okay. Uh, it is also said uh, by the same newspaper, because this is in several newspapers, other complaints on the same teacher was filed in January for her slapping her student. So. It's the same teacher. What you think about George? Well, I mean, don't don't persecute the the woman for doing her job and educating the young gentleman for you know. You don't know. It's like ex ed if that makes. Sense. Yeah, I mean, ex ed with you know. They don't know if it was a student. It, it could be a project. Teacher. It could be another teacher. So it was actually said that the husband. Of the teacher sought police assistance along with the Brongai captain, and they're saying um, he would he wanted to file charges, okay, um, against the lover, not the, which still means they both will probably go down, right? It doesn't matter if it's a lover, won't the, the wife, anyways, if they file on one, won't they file on both? Well, it depends on the situation, they're not very clear on that one. Well, I'm just wondering if they can. So, no, they can, but like I said, it's kind of one of those things. But, you know, I mean, you, yes, also, um, RC, you can put that up. You both are looking and sounding good. How do you feel? I read about the increased case of pertussis, whooping cough. Um, what it is, is I, as I'm aware, they don't vaccinate uh, for whooping cough like they do in the United States as a vaccine. So yes, in the Metro Manila area, it's going around. It's, it's rarely fatal. It's mostly fatal, um, um, for infants that get really sick from it. But I mean, for the most part, you know, yeah, it's kind of wild that's going around. I mentioned that to George the other day. No, no, I was so. thinking of, um, certain things that still kind of exists here, kind of like, um, it's not common, but polio still exists somewhat in the more remote regions. Um, kind of like whooping cough still exists. Um, leprosy, however, no, that one is definitely part of the, you know. But well, hepatitis is rampant. There's a couple of them. Oh, yes, hepatitis really... is common, unfortunately, but you can get them. vaccinated in the U.S. because the vaccination only lasts for, for how long? It's not forever. And hepatitis. Well, it's too serious. I'm sure I'm still covered. Yeah. Mine's been 20 years since I've worked as a nurse. So, um, also, um, the son with the dad when they caught. Okay. Ah, oh, I was over there by you, AJ. Gotcha. Um, next we're going to discuss. It is getting to be near Holy Week, which starts this Sunday. Uh, George is disappointed because they found out. That's not far from you. Lonion is not that far from me. I've been in oh, Lonion. I hear her with a package again. Where'd she? Yeah. Um, I hear that. So that's why there's, a, you said it's a limited time on the fish sandwich. That's what they say, yes. Where was she at? Let me, I was trying to avoid that noise, and there she is. Did then, you? Then call her. They'll come. I mean, I grab whatever, what she was messing with, yes. She evidently found something in the same spot. 
Okay. So limited time on the fish sandwich. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, you want me to go? Okay. <laughs> hey, Brent's world. Um, also, I'm going to discuss uh, the Chocolate Hills. Okay. Uh, there are several resorts out there. Recently, Sweetheart. it was spotted. The swimming pool Sweetheart. is going around about Captain Peak. Okay. But that's been there for a while. That's all not new. It's been there for quite some time. No, I can't. And where is she? I, I don't know. Is she under the couch? Probably. She's a puppy. She can be anywhere. Okay. Now, um, here's Captain Speak again, like Bohol again. Bohol is one of the wonders in the Philippines again. They're big, giant limestone hills. And um, they're. Now, be aware that it's not just Captain Speak. There are a total of three resorts there. She's under the couch. Too many Chloe. Live. <laughs> Chloe. Yeah, One she's, minute. She's literally under you. Well, shake the snack bag over there, right there in front of you in the bowl. But she's not a cat. No, not that one. The other one. Hers. Come here, Chloe. Chloe. Well, it doesn't matter. If she doesn't bring out what she's chewing on, then it's not doing Chloe. Any good. Chloe. Yeah, she's, I see her now. She's literally underneath. Well, not that it would help if you get up, but I'm saying she's on her account. All right. Well, you might as well come on back. All you did was wind up the cats. Yeah, there's actually a total of three resorts in that area. Well, there's more than three resorts. Now, what, the three that are what made Captain's game. Peak, I guess, the peak of the story is the other two resorts are somewhat in the outskirts of, well, they're they're not in the outskirts, but according to them, they are, which means they're in the perimeter of this national landmark. And Captain's Peak is literally in the center of the landmark, the Bohol Hills. Now, for those of you trying to figure out what Bohol Hills is, think of it as somebody put up a resort in this in the heart of Yellowstone Park. You know, the, the, the Bohol Hills is a very big area, okay? And somehow these guys managed to put up a resort as you guys can see from the bird's eye view that is actually an olympic sized pool and the effed up part about this story or rather this incident is they have actually did actual official competitions as far as swimming goes because again that's an olympic sized pool swimming competitions right, national olympic competitions in this resort so it's not a it's secret been there a while. It's, it's weird been there a while because they're talking about a vlogger ran a drone over it like it was a brand new situation but they have videos of this resort going back to 2018 or right. something so it's not a new but they're saying the heads will roll at the Brongai level because of the permits and that that is looks like their final words are going to be they're going to get rid of now in all fairness on going to be torn down regarding this incident they have been trying to shut down this establishment however what's going on is is whenever a complaint is filed and they investigate they ignore the investigators that's the most common, I hate to say this, Philippine thing to do is they ignore you. Hey, racer. They're like, oh, okay, no, you know, and then nothing happens after that. That's what bureaucracy is. Unless you, you know, pay for something, it doesn't happen. All right. So next we're going to cover, guys, um, a, a tragic story that happened this morning about two kids. Well, let, let's play the video and then... That way you guys can see what's somewhat what's going on and then we'll fill you in. Oh wait, no, we're all one. Serious? Wait. No, there it is. Oh, 
Antayin nyo po yung mga anak nyo. Pumasok sa kotse. Okay, so the narration is... Oh, why does that keep playing? You are so fired. No. <laughs> Even if it is your channel. No, fired. I was just getting rid of it. But you gonna make me forget that I had Philippine part Philippine okay. with me last night. So, Jiminy <laughs> crickets, man. <laughs> you gonna forget I I was part Filipino yesterday. Okay. The <laughs> sadly, this happened actually in a local area. It's in Malabanas. For those of you who are not familiar with Malabanas, is where, um. This particular vlogger used to live. I, I'm not sure if he's still there. Because, again, he'd start to d Dumbo. not disclose where he used to live. OSR? Over, well, Overstay Road, yes. Yeah, OSR. Yes. Yeah, this happened in, in, the OSR. in Overstay Road's area. Now, I'm not quite sure if he's still there or not. Because, again, he started to About three miles not, from us. not disclose his area anymore. But well, anyway. Out in the middle of well, the either area. way, he's not responsible, obviously. Yeah. I'm just saying that that's his area. Um, Which means it's local. Now, the video, all they said was, is watch out for your kids. Make sure you know where they're at. And the other part of what they said is they went into the car without the owner's knowledge. And then I guess they locked themselves in without knowing how to get out, which is possible. I mean, unless, I mean I've seen adults. Like trying to figure out how to get out of the car. I'm like, dude, it's just the little latch on the side or the one on the door. You know what I'm saying? But they were young, two unidentified right. children. They're young, they're were kids. Found lifeless inside of a car. Okay, yesterday. The two reportedly trapped themselves inside of a Toyota Vias. Uh, it was summer, it's hot, it's been a dry season, there's been little to no rain. Um, and the two children had suffocated. So um, the mayor had sent out his express condolences. Of course, they're not naming the children. Of course, we blank their faces out and there's, you know, nothing to actually see on that part of it. Um, but they were young, as I'm to understand, they were one and two. I mean, I don't know what a one year old, probably under two. And then the other one was two. They were both under the age of three. So that's what we were discussing, um, me and George, yesterday, is that we will see kids out here in diapers just walking the street with seven and eight-year-olds. And I'm like, I couldn't see. You know, it's a different culture. And so I told George, it's something you'll get used to. I sent you some footage of the e-trike. What do we do with that e-trike footage of the kid riding the e-trike? Oh, no, you never... Well, no, I know. So I it's like it's... an eight-year-old, two, eight to ten-year-olds riding an e-trike down the road, and it's it was pretty scary. But in an instant like this, the kids, I they were probably wanting to pretend they were driving, just something to play with, and they got locked inside there. So that is for sure. But do you want to talk about the e-trike since we kind of like? I'm, I'm not going no, to. Okay. I was being I don't have the footage right now. We don't have the full update on e trikes, and that's something totally. Um, yeah, I was, no, there's, but there's something going we on. Have, with we that. have other yeah. things that we're actually going to cover. Right. Now, Jennifer Wilson, before we go further, just so you guys know, I haven't seen you in a while there, Jennifer. Hello, hello. Okay. Now, the Olympic size pool is it the death of an Olympic size pool? No, it's not going to be the death of an Olympic size pool. For those of you who don't but know, what, they'll hold a competition I mean, there. Olympic sized pools, they have a real deep depth, which is designed for divers, you yeah. know, when they jump off that giant thing. No, they don't do that here. But the size, guys, these chocolate hills are bigger than what they seem. You're just a speck in that video. In here, okay, some of you guys are, oh, there's no way that's an Olympic sized pool. Put it this way. Guys, those are full-size buildings. Think about it. You are a, literally a speck in this photo. Yeah, so that's a big pool. It's a giant pool. It's not a big pool. 
It's a giant pool. The hill These the hills houses. are bigger than you think. Think. And you could see the actual resort building right there. Right. So these aren't little size. dirt mounds. No, these are big, giant hills. Um, Actually, some of you who've never mountain climbed will say these are mountains. Put it that way. Yeah. No. Um, Mike Dowdy um, had a thought on the actual kids. He's saying, I doubt that the kids trap themselves. The only way to lock the door from... The driver's side, uh, plus if the door's ajar, they won't lock a kid to have the strength to pull it shut. I'm not buying no knowledge. Now here, I don't know what well, like I said, no well, Mike, Mike, Mike Dowdy, again, I'm not arguing with you, but remember. Uh, a, they're one and two years old, so maybe the two-year-old, uh, it's hard yeah, saying. It's, it's maybe real they easy. left them in the car. I mean, that's all the information. It's also possible, this too. 12 hour, it's a, you know, maybe it's possible. And me and George discussed it that they might have left him actually in the back and, seat and after like said, a. But they're saying it as I'm to understand from the article, it's not the owners, it's not the children, it's not their car. Well, and like I said, I've heard a lot, and not heard personally. I've known a lot of Americans who's like trying to figure out how to get in my car after I offered to give them a ride and drop them off, and they're like, "How do I get out of here?" They're literally fumbling. I mean, like, oh, it's hard saying. Could have been and, an older kid, George, that put him in there. Well, babe, what I'm saying is, if an adult has a hard time getting out of a regular vehicle, right? But I couldn't imagine a one and two year old getting in there. Right. That's with, so somebody had to let him in. Well, well that's no. I, it's possible the door's just open because it's a very common thing here. That's why I make sure the car door is locked. Yeah, I always do, especially with a lot of kids, because if. If your car door is unlocked, they'll get in. And again, not that they can get anything of value in the car, but point being is like one of these. Mm -hmm. So make sure you lock your doors here again. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, okay, it looks like we already discussed the school teacher and the kid. Let's get around to the photo of the week. Okay. Uh, Mark T and friends. No, I know. All right, guys. This is the photo of the week. Can you guys guess what the photo is about? <laughs> People who have have sharp eyes can tell right right away. Um, not necessarily in this one, but on their videos. Um, yeah, someone asked the other day. Let me leave it at that. Someone asked the other day, does Mark Thornton and his friend there and both sisters live in the house together. I said, not that I'm aware of. But then this photo came in from his last live stream. Oh, dang, Scott. No. Hold on. Let people comment before. We... Okay. So hold All on right, Scott. The phone. Well, everybody's starting to comment now. But yeah, Scott, this we'll is put you up in a, a second. a photo of Mark's last live stream. And he... At one point, he literally panned the camera out because he went to go brag about a photo from an artist. And it's a Russian artist that does all kinds of bronze sculptures. And he acted like nobody knew who he was. But he put it up. In the meanwhile, there was a reflection inside of his house. The whole desktop was a hot mess. I mean, I know we're a little cluttered, but looks like he left a lot of stuff from the boxes were still on the table. I was wondering what they were going to do with stuff. Looks like they left it on the table. But um, I'm like, it does look like he has something on his mouth. Same thing pointed out from his little friend there, the police officer. And so you have two sisters equal who knows. Hey, maybe, maybe Mark's lonely. Maybe the cop's lonely. Maybe the sisters are lonely. Who knows? One pregnant wife in the house. Who knows? Can't get pregnant anymore if you're already pregnant. I doubt that's what's happening. I bet she's not involved at all. <laughs> well. You so four subtract one. You do realize that pregnant women are more attractive than regular women because of the hormones they put out and the men subconsciously get attracted well just that, because right? you're attracted to pregnant women and single mothers doesn't mean everybody is protection net required 
George's, George's advice of the week. Save a little money. Find a pregnant woman. She was George. Oh, my God. It's hey, not mine because it was already in there. Scott, I'm shocked. No, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to bring up what Scott says. Scott, Scott says, could it be her pee? And Mike uh, Dowie says, share her peas. Now, okay. Now, remember, this is all um, alleged speculation, all that. It's yeah, just, really it's just kind of odd. We're just that's and these are not exactly old photos from each other. It's just kind of odd. <laughs> Maybe so, they all do live together. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, so. It could be Beanie Babies. A lot of Beanie Babies. Right. The, be- yeah, maybe, the, the Beanie Babies the were Beanie babies. infected. It's a good possibility. Yep. Well, I guess you can cut a hole from Beanie Babies and then get infected that way. Well, Brent's World said the size of an Olympic pool is 50 meters long, 25 meters wide. Did you? Okay, I'm trying to figure why this Olympic size. Did you no, 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 Olympic no. size pool? No, I did. Point? I did. However, it is. It is. Of what an Olympic size pool without even measure, babe. It's huge. Can you guys babe, not see how big that is, babe? Again, a lot of people think these chocolate hills are tiny. No, they're not. Hey, Sarah. In that photo, fo- in this photo that I showed you, you guys are specks. Humans are specks. You can't see a human from this range. Put it that way. Well, you can. It be look like a gnat. So it's bigger than you think. And again, these chocolate hills, a lot of you guys can't even climb this. And I'm not I'm not picking on anybody. What I'm saying is these are not tiny mounds. These are not ant hills. These aren't mole hills. These are real hills, natural formations of limestone. So 25 meters yeah. wide would only be 12 foot. That's definitely a 12 foot. No, that's I'm what I'm saying. at a photo they, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Um, No, somebody said and earlier that can't meters. be an Olympic size. Well, it can. Again, these are aerial view shots. You cannot see a human. Well, they look like foot. ants. They look like tiny ants in this photo. 30 feet long. Tiny specks. Yes. Put it that way. That pool is that large and a lot of people think oh hills are no dude no. i've climbed mountains and i've climbed, climbed hills they're bigger than most people think i i know in movies they say they show hills are like they climb up and they're there in a few seconds no dude hills are huge mountains are bigger again i climb mountains and it's a normal thing for me and these are hills which to me again a hill, well, it's still a good, a good workout. The official said they didn't know about it. Yeah, no, no, no. Again, it's just they, they, a lot of people don't realize the yeah, magnet, magnitude of scale. Further, says right, they, people they don't realize magnitude of scale. Yeah, sorry. Scott says he's eating too many hot dogs. Hey, sir, how you doing? Hello, roomies. That's a large pool. I mean, no, 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 it's huge. It is. Again, like I said, a lot of people don't realize. I know a lot of people see a picture and then they have their own version of a, of how big it is. You guys don't know how big it is unless you know the size of relative to whatever object or landmark it is next to. And since these are chocolate hills, unfortunately, most Westerners think that hills are little tiny mounds of dirt. They're not, especially these. These are natural limestone formations. In fact, technically, I'm not even quite sure if you can call them hills because these are giant limestone formations. These are technically Earth's giant stalagmites, as it were. Limestone out of the earth. It's not normal. There These... it is. It said March 13th. The resort showed that it owns an Olympic size. Yes. Pool. I didn't have so... to. I didn't have to Google that. I didn't have to analyze that really. Not that deep. They you can tell. It and right. that it is an Olympic no, size. No, it is. Pool. So... Now the deaf, again, 
I honestly don't know the depth of Olympic size pool because most US most US depth Olympic size pool they are deeper than two meters. Only the reason because is whenever they have Olympic competitions, um, they do some Greg Lugini stuff. What I'm saying is they dive off the diving board and jump, which means they have to be deeper than two meters, otherwise they'd be so now I don't know the depth of this pool, but I know for a fact again without any measurements or whatever it is an olympic size pool as far as regular swimming competition because that's what they do in that location official swimming competitions which should never have happened only because again think about it yellowstone park all of a sudden you have an olympic size pool in the heart of yeah, yellowstone okay. park correct and you're like wait a minute why are they doing swimming you know, swimming Olympics here in Yellowstone Park. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what's going on here. But those who are trying to figure out what's the big deal. It's a big deal because, again, it is a protective reserve. Or was, rather. I mean. But there's three of them. And the one other ones are somewhat further on the outskirts. But this one literally is in the heart of the Chocolate Hills. I'm going to go get the link so you guys can join the live stream, talk about a few things, because the last thing we're going to cover is what we covered yesterday was the uh, Michael Ritchie, the American who had passed away. Um, and we had brought up a few things yesterday. Uh, we have footage. Um, go ahead and show the last footage again one more time. Okay, for those of you who missed it, this is actually ours before the incident. And this is our um, American friend, Michael, that, again, unfortunately was... A couple hours before. Right. And now, again, for those of you who didn't follow our, our last live, the, this is the American side. The American side is, uh, I'll tell you after I show you the video, and then you're like, okay, this makes more sense. And yeah, because some people have left messages, which is fine. They're saying anything could have happened, happened, you know, that he didn't deserve to have this incident. Well, he doesn't happen. deserve, period, being and whatever happened to him, no. It's like a, a back and forth, and then they actually said that it still could have turned ugly after the fact. But from we've been talking to a few people that were inside the club and a girl that knows about the incident and she had brought a few things up just a little bit ago, sent us another message. Um, remember, our end of the week, this is the end of the week for us Saturday. We kind of rewrap recap talk about, you know, things going on with other vloggers and it's just something all together. And a lot of people had missed because yesterday was not a um, program live stream like we decided to go ahead and do it because we found out. More information, but we read from a newspaper direct that said that he was not in the bar and he wasn't there at the time of whatever conference. Range 999 happened, was not in the bar. That his, they called him croonies. And by the way, we also have an article from yeah. um, a newspaper in the UK now that is covering it. And they said that it's being said that it's jealousy that drove him there to confront the foreigner. And at some point, regardless of what had happened, the man didn't deserve to pass away and his reputation has been tarnished. People have been saying right. that he's, uh, a, you know, he was touching the ladies, which is breaking right. the law and that he went after him in the end. Well, he was actually, hit from behind, fell around the car, and I would have been PO2 at that point. And I did say several times, hold your judgment. Remember, you're only hearing one side of the story up until we said his side of the story. Right. So there's a lot of things that are coming out, including several women, because we're at about 20,000 views on a previous live stream that streamed through Facebook. So a bunch of the Filipinos um, and others that were there are actually starting to reach out. and. We have this footage that shows things, but for the most part, in a nutshell, it said that he was very generous. The women were flocking to him. He was not touching anybody. The women were actually asked to stay off of him. They would not stop. Right. And the, 
which makes more sense. It makes more us. sense. Again, here in the Philippines, if you're he's young, he's correct, built, he's they will MMA flock on you and fall on your lap, about. literally. And um, he was, he was, as we told you guys not to do, is to be flashy. He was giving out, you know, large tips. He, the alcohol was flowing. Um, and so he attracted a lot of attention. And when you have allegedly the rapper's crew in there, and now the UK paper, and what we were told is that the girlfriend was actually there. Supposedly, Range's 999 main squeeze was there. Okay, remember, he's had multiple girlfriends. It's not the one he broke up with with the video we showed the other day, but it's... Uh well, that was last year. Supposedly that last year girlfriend was gone. Actually, to my understanding of the tabloids, I said tabloids, not newspaper. To my understanding of the tabloids, she was never really her girl, his girlfriend. Okay, so then it was just a jealousy thing. So the crew no, was no, in not, something. Not that one. I'm talking about the, all one, the that, previous one. The one that they showed on the tabloids. Technically, the girl denied it was he was a girl. She was a girlfriend. Yeah, That's how I was getting it. Yeah. now again this is actual footage in that location that day okay of what of and then i'm gonna ask you guys does this look like an aggressive guy to you guys to range 999's barcada which actually now that heidi mentioned it croonies is probably the best description of barcada because barcada is kind of like Barcada technically translates to gang, but that's not a good translation. Well, he already but, said that they are. Right, but well, what I'm saying is Barcada, it's kind of hard to translate to English because it's somewhat not a gang. But Croonies, I guess it would be the best translation of Barcada. This is Range 99's Barcada, which I mean, like Heidi says, Croonies. <laughs> You have a gun. You got 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 a gun. So again, does that look like a guy who's aggressive and is having an issue with Range 99's crew? Now, someone did bring up the fact in messages that it could be that a lot changed at that point. But the point is, is it's being said that he was there and that he was being disrespected and his friends and the women. No, he was called in, according to our last few sources, the day before is that they're saying and coming forward that they said that nobody is really backing up range. He already admitted he did it. So he's already did it, but there's been a new thing brought to light. And we discussed this yesterday is that witnesses are not coming forward for range nine, nine, nine. Allegedly he does have an attorney. Here's the thing. It was mentioned by his attorney yesterday that there is a chance he could go free. Okay. Um, and our one of our sources just messaged us this morning to say that it looks like they're going to turn him loose. Now, I just letting you know what was actually said this morning. Um, and it's because they're claiming, which is weird for me still, I'm trying to get over this one, that if the family doesn't come forward and press charges, which it's an international family on top of that, that there is a period of time to file a case against them. And didn't the attorney say it looks like right now the government or the state, uh, you know, that area has not filed properly or something? So he's... Well, like I said, so far... I haven't seen a vlog or post that Range 99 is free. 
Which they and I'm will. I'm pretty by the sure way. if he is free, they'll, they'll definitely. Be... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll get posted the moment he's free because it's he does have a fanatical a following. Yes, right. You know, and believe me, everything the chismas and the the coconut pipeline goes really quick here. You just seen those two kids yesterday, and there were hundreds out there to get footage. Uh, the other fo footage you guys didn't see is everybody had a camera on the car watching, so it's not youtubers like regular youtubers it's tiktokers other people and people love to post things on facebook okay so um there is a chance according to our source that he might actually go free um she also wants to know she's really actually upset about it so um yesterday i called out the people to contact the embassy to see what's being done um i've um, personally have made calls and waiting for it actually in writing to see is it really true that this can actually happen and I called and spoke to somebody um, also um, there is another news agency that is on this right now and I have received one phone call from them okay yesterday but i was kind of waiting to see something i had reached out to a few of our regular members and our moderator um and i don't know they're probably waiting for more information but tmz of california is interested in this story that's the other breaking bit that i have is that we've been in phone contact okay uh, because we were contacted by email. Remember, TMZ has like a whole crew of people that look for news all over the world. And it did break in the UK Sun newspaper. And it is starting. It's on GMA, which is a big um, television show. So it's not surprising. So we have talked to somebody on that. Yeah, side. now just facts again, just to clarify. Um, the rapper backed off after the verbal argument, retreated his car. Then the fire blocked his path to open this door. This is not what happened. Um, this did not happen. I'm I'm repeating that over and over because again, this is the um Yeah, I wouldn't say that. This actually. is what vloggers have been telling you. Unfortunately, this did not happen. Um Range 999 was not in the in building. The club. And that video when he was pulling in, it was him arriving from it's not house. from a parking lot. And, so if you look at the footage, right. he's coming. And this from is a confirmed from witnesses and news sources. It's confirmed. Range nine 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 was not in the location. Range nine 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 came straight to the hotel from wherever he's from, which again we assume it's his house. Okay. And no, it's that is not the actual narrative, as it were. No. That's not what happened. It was a setup. What I'm saying is again they, they from the cebu daily news that's been covering this from right the they, beginning. they brought michael from the club this was out in the open and michael did not know a thing they had arm his arms around, around him, him still and being everything. nice it was like a setup in that it was a setup i mean and honestly none of this makes a difference because the rapper already said he did it the the it's it's kind of but he was called in over jealousy. And yesterday, if you watch yesterday's live Well, I guess stream, just facts wasn't there yesterday. But. We actually went through the entire yeah. thing, how there have been several people in contact with us. And we read off her exact words and the women that were in the bar. And they said that those girls were all over They him. were throwing themselves at him. Now, and again, he didn't touch like any I said, of them. And those of you who've been to the Philippines were like, okay, I see now. It makes, makes more sense, sense about the girls flocking to him Correct. because of. And then they said that the crew of nine 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 range nine 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 actually was just jealous of him in the end. And with enough alcohol, that's probably exactly what it turned to. And it was probably a woman that he liked because the actual UK paper actually had a lot to say about it too. Um, it says right here, the police major Romero, and we read this yesterday, Kakoi chief of the Mavolo police station said that Solera was not at the bar or in the bar when the commotion happened early on Sunday morning. In another interview, it was said that the commotion happened inside the bar where the, where the incident happened before Solera arrived. Correct. He wasn't there. Now, again, this footage, now... 
and that's from the to you guys paper. again to to you guys you might get yeah, might say like, oh he could have been drinking more after well your what i'm saying is the the footage are like different. may say oh well it doesn't mean he's not in the footage not there um i disagree the reason being is Range 999's personality is kind of one of those, hey, I have to be in the video. You know what I'm saying? No, they were discussing catches. Correct. According to the sources, before we even found all of this, she said starting early the day before we spoke all day, she said that Range was not in the bar, that it was about jealousy, that they're ugly was their description. Right. They're ugly about that the guy had his looks, they had money, and they were wanting to be a lot like him. So it was all about a jealousy thing. And then the Sun newspaper actually repeated the same thing. And like so. I said, don't pass judgment until you hear the other side of the story. And unfortunately, Michael's side of the story um, was not told. They've tarnished correct. his reputation. And it makes more sense. You're like, because honestly, like I said, but here's the thing, guys, guys, and I'm being specific here, guys, when you arrive here and women flock to you, it's the wrong kind of women. All right. So I'm going to, and I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that it's a UK newspaper and we do see there are other people in the room. So it says here in cold blood, the horror that an MMA fighter was. I can't say the word, um, and then deceased outside of a hotel over a jealous rapper who accused him of talking to his girlfriend. Yeah, so and just facts about shocking footage. Right? No, he did not open the door, according to witnesses in well, in the even scene. Even if he did, we said that. Well, it, even if it's he a doesn't possible. deserve it, but no, he did not open the door. It was Range Nine and Nine who opened the car door. So, so I get I get where you're coming from. Don't get me wrong. It says I the, get where you're coming the from. Just facts. footage of the moment that Michael George Ritchie and we did say he was from Alabama. We said that on day one um, when we covered this on Monday that it was in a car parking um, lot, which it was actually in front of it after a party in Cebu in the Philippines. And they're just talking about how shocking it is. They show the footage. Um, they actually show him in a photo with the girlfriend that allegedly yes, was it's, being harassed. It's girlfriend, not wife. And again, I apologize for that. Again, it's girlfriend, not wife. Which what's that? No, he, they're asking if was he married or is just a girlfriend. Well, here's the thing. Allegedly, he was from another source that knew him said that he was actually married but divorced from a thai woman we mentioned that yesterday and that i said he was in a phil am relationship and i assume that meant marriage so we did correct that yesterday that was our fault on that part he is divorced from a thai woman he has custody of a 12 year old daughter but he does have a son from another thai girl which was weird because now people are mentioning that he has two different babies mama and a current girlfriend, the one that we mentioned and the ones that you'll see photos of, that's his girlfriend, so not his wife. So we did actually correct that. A government investigator at this point have started to collect evidence, including cell phones of the alleged suspect and his friends that had, um, we don't know. I'm waiting to hear back from Mary Kay. Okay, she's one of the heads over at the Philippine Embassy. I mean, she may not say nothing to us at all. So, but the fact that I just got a message this morning from one of the main sources that says it looks like they are going to let him go. So, yeah. Um, how about Salim Z? Let Salim huh? Z in. There's another person in there that came. Oh, in. Salim. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Adam. Well, um, you guys know Mike. Introduction is not required. Um, welcome, to Mike's Philippine Journey or Michael's Philippine Journey. Michael's Philippine Michael's journey. journey. Hey, Mike. What up? Salim. Hey, yeah, what's um, and along with see. Michael. Now, Salim Z, we can't vouch for him um, or her. It's a we, new person. A new person, so. Hey, Salim, how are you doing? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I know. Mike's like, yeah, who is it? Uh, Salim, you have a chance here? Hello? 
Oh, hi. There. How are you? Hi, doing good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm from California. Uh, I'm kind of split with the, uh, with the issue about, you know, um, will that rapper get out uh, scot-free or he would have some lenient sentencing or he'll get the entire uh, judgment because um, uh, even without the, um, without people complain, without the other party complaining who would lodge the case against him, uh, it's a criminal case. So it becomes people of the Philippines versus that guy. So mm -hmm. uh, right. yep. the, we'll see the, the attorney was clearly stating yesterday in an actual yeah. conference that they had not filed the proper paperwork. So I don't know, Mike, have you heard anything further on that? No, they, they have time. Somebody's trying something. Um, so use me. Let me mute. I mean, they. they they have plenty of time to to kind of file for something and and that that is exactly what it is it's it, you know, if the prosecution needs to say that you know what we see enough evidence here to file charges on him that that's exactly what it would say the people of the philippines versus you know range 999 whatever that's going to be the charges that's put in place there now you know so now we're hearing stuff you know, that's in support of the guy, right? And in the beginning, we saw the support coming from Range's side. Right. Okay. So what what happens in the club does not fully translate what can be used, what happened outside the club. Now oh, I get yeah. it. All right. Yeah. You know, so we need to remove what happened inside the club. Let's look at it in regards for the outside. Now, the lawyer for range is now going to tell the story. Now let's say it's true that he was not in the club. So now you have a gentleman that, you know, you were saying that he was the, 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 the Michael guy was set up, right? That's, that's the, like the juice of a lot of people are saying, right? But we need, that needs to be proven if they fully set him up, but if they can't think about, you have to look at it this way. The lawyer, will try to explain it coming from Range's point of view. Range pulls up, because that's what the lawyer is going to say. Right. He didn't know anything. He just says he pulls up to the event. When he's pulling up, as you can see, he did stop. Now, the guy got kicked, right? Right, by one of his head guys, yes. We don't know that yet, allegedly. Mm. We don't know if that guy is with Range. Okay, but let's say he is. Guy gets kicked. Range backed up. Okay, so when range backed up, we saw range do what? Turn the wheel to the left. When he backed up, he turned the wheel to the left, so the car went this way. But if you zoom it in, the guy also steps to the right. So that's when it, it gets blocked. So what the lawyer is going to paint is that here's range arriving and here's this guy blocking the way he backs up to avoid the gentleman turns his, his, uh, the, the wheel, the car to the left. And when he turn he tries to go to the left, the guy also stepped to his right. If you, if you zoom into that whole thing, you'll, you're going to see it. So the guy steps to the right. So pretty much blocking. So now here's range. Here's this guy. Big guy, white guy, scary guy, full of tattoos. Oh, we got where they're going to go with this, Mike, on the legal but, but, stance. But, He's already I, admitted guilt. No, it, so does, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to prove on the other side that the American, I, yeah, yeah. I believe the witnesses that are starting to come through. Sh because but that's the thing. Both, both sides are going to. In a very bad light. Both sides are going to have their, are, are they're going to have the way. Because range also has a lot. There's a lot of haters that are Filipinos on range too. Like yeah, so when, no, when this, when this first happened, you saw so many different things. Oh, you know, maybe start, start making some rap songs inside the prison, doing all that stuff. I mean, the people were like trashing him. And so, but here's the thing. If you truly zoom in onto the, uh, the, when he, when the guy went to the side, so somebody says he slammed into Michael on purpose. Sure. Michael was on his way. He nudged him. It's not like he hit him so fast. He nudged him the, and then the guy, and he jumped back. Right. 
it wasn't that powerful of the of the push of the car where the guy just bounced back a few feet back. The guy you he got defensive, which is good because he's like, I'm about to get hit by a car. He jumped back. Very good in regards for his, you know, positioning and stuff like that. But here's the thing: if you truly zoom in on it on the video, okay, what happens is the question is, did he open the door? One thing that we do know, because there was no people that was behind the car to see that angle, he did go to the side of the car. Now, right. if you look and zoom in, the door's open, his hand was inside the door while it's opening up. Right. And, and you then think he, all of this is going to play a part in whether they're going to let him go or whether yes. he's guilty when he already yes. said that? So you Doesn't think... Matter. What's what's well, gonna happen actually, if no, no, they can yeah. yeah so if they can show that he opened up the door, that means now you can say that he is in fear of his life. Because if you say that he was not at the club and here you are, just think about yourself. Put it this way, I want you to push this in yourself. If you drive in to a place and a guy is blocking you, and then you back out and you turn left. And the guy follows to be in front of you. And then he flanks you. And then he attempts to open up the door. What's your reaction, Heidi? Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean. Exactly. Yeah, but there are, yeah, there are other things, though. But here's, here's the other point. He also um, has, of course, the illegal firearm it, situation. Yes. And there are other things that are going to come in play. He, there, was his, there were people pointing at him as he arrived. And yeah, the so, other guy in red, the girls that are talking to me say he has been identified as one of his people. So we'll see it yeah. come out. If it does, I'm just putting the other exactly. side of it is that yeah, yeah, yeah. he's been identified and I've been sent his photos. And the, so the, yeah. if all of this comes into play that he was called in. But here's the thing. They're not. I mean, a lot of these witnesses are going to be afraid to come forward anyways. But the the least he'll get, I don't think he's gonna get away scotch free. I think right. what he's gonna get is a minimum ch gun charge of a discharge of an illegal and possession of an illegal weapon. Mm. That's uh, that's the that's the minimum he'll get. He I don't think he can go scot free for this one, and I don't think he should go scot free. Right. You know that's that's my thing. But because you know, and then somebody was trying to argue with me. In regards for well, you know, it's the castle doctrine. Castle doctrine does not exist in the Philippines. The only thing that exists in the close realm of that is self-defense. So, and then right. what's funny is some guy was like, "No, well, the castle doctrine, you know, it has to be a, a mobile home, this and that." I was like, "Depends on the state." Because in Florida, your house, if you're in your car, as long as the car, you're inside the car, you that's your castle as well. So it depends right. on the state, that's but true. it's but it's not, it's not that doesn't exist in the Philippines. All they have in the Philippines is the right for self if, for self-defense. Now, there's three qualifying things for the self-defense to be able to, to show that he has self-defense. The first one and two covers range 999. The third one is the problem. Was that, was there some instigation that occurred that, you know, where, you know, went between back and forth that caused it? That's the only thing that he has, a, that he can have a problem with. If that lawyer can convince that judge that it was a self-defense, then it's a self-defense. Right. And all yeah, you have here now is just a gun side, charge. We figure that's what's going to happen, yes. Yeah. So if he gets released, if he, if he does bail out, then you know the only charge they're going to do to him is the uh, possession of the gun and illegal discharge. Yeah. If, if, if I... Oh, sorry. Oh, good. Um, yeah, if I may. Uh, Super... So don't you that has it crossed to your mind since it's, it's a very hot topic in Cebu and the Garcia clan are losing their footing in that city would it be a like a political uh would that issue be political politicized don't you think that mm -hmm. angle let's say okay let's throw the books mm -hmm. to this guy and that becomes a campaign piece for that whoever politician like the Garcias <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you're talking about the governor, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, Gwen Garcia's yeah. kids are trying to get a, uh, a a hold on the city because they've lost their popularity in that city itself. 
then the, if, it, if we're going to go with the political realm, where has she been? Normally, if it is a political thing, if they're going to try to use it, they would have jumped in it within the first 24 hours. That could be right. But maybe they have some calculated, uh, they're still waiting for the development, you know? So yeah. maybe it could be a calculated move. Um, yeah, it, I, yeah. I don't think it will be, though. Yeah, something <laughs> would have been done by this now. This is right? somewhat one, though. Okay, here's the thing. Range 99 played his cards right. I'm not defending the guy. I'm saying he actually and said... he admitted guilt. So he says right that I did it to in, defend so. the Filipinas' honor. And again, this is a big political move on Range 99 sides. That's how far as PR goes. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the problem. I'm talking about your, your um, statement, Salim. Is now a political figure will be like, okay, am I going to sacrifice my political career because of what this guy says. Remember, these guys are did not go on top because they're idiots. No. But most political figures know how to play the game. They can see game. They know game when they see it. What I'm saying is they're not going to risk their careers for something on a gut instinct. They're like, okay, my gut tells me this. However, and then they're going to consult their his or her advisors, as it were in this case. So what I'm saying is I don't think it, this will turn political because right now, even I get it, it's leaning towards Filipinos. It's somewhat like a gray area, and I don't think they'll risk their careers for a gray area um, issue, if that makes any and sense. And I think Mike Gwen, is right. Yeah, go ahead. Gwen Garcia's daughter is the tourism secretary. Cebu is reliant on tourism, at least a chunk of it. Yeah, the tourism. So thing, yes. uh, that would take the, you know, that could, it tarnished the tourism industry in that local area. And we, so, and we, did, we did mention that, Salim. We did mention mm -hmm. that if anything <laughs> is pushed, it'll be because of that part of it. It, it, it would be possibly because right. of part of that. Now, bring that into light. We're gonna, I'm going to go back to my old statement again. Okay. That, according to your words, that she is part of the tourism industry. Now, here's the thing. We're talking about Cebuanos here. Cebuanos are diehard loyalists of their fellow men, Cebuanos, or women, Cebuanas. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. So, uh -oh. if they're going to side with the American, again, I'm not turning this into a racial thing. It's just the way this particular, because you mentioned politics. Now, we're going real political here. The Cebuano side is bigger as far as political is concerned. And they're going to side with Range 999 versus the American which is not popular in that area. So with your own statement, what do you think is going to happen? Which again, you know, yeah. yeah, I well, fall back to my statement. It's not on their good mm -hmm. interest that they side with either one because either one is going to go against their own values. If somebody goes against their own values, they're not going to do anything because they're, they're going to be torn. They'll be like, okay, let's wait this out. Well, sorry, Mike, I'm go ahead. Yeah, I mean, even like when, when, when the whole stuff going on in Marawi happened, the, the tourism was still flourishing in the Philippines. This is a one incident event. This is not going to kill the tourism in Cebu. And, and, and George brought a perfect, perfect way to kind of you know, explain it. If she goes against range 999, what happens here is it's a potential death sentence for her. Because if it's shown that he is innocent, whether he's guilty, whether he's OJ, and then all of a sudden he's innocent, and she cited to try to give him up in a platter, he's not going to look good. You, get, you, you have to understand is that right now, you have to see how the, it's, it's very fluid right now. Most politicians are going to stay away from this. What's funny is you haven't even seen Tulfo touch this yet. Which is which? Which is funny to me. Um, so by looking at a lot of those things, it, it's something that they know they need to stay away because what you're doing is you're choosing a foreigner over a Filipino, and that's a death sentence. 
We're still fresh in the Philippines. What happened with Scott Pem- with Scott what Pemberton? I think it was, and that Jennifer Laudig, um, you know, Corporal Klinger Alphabet Girl that that got that got unalived. So I mean, right. it's still fresh that he got released, and the Filipinos wanted blood. And you have to understand is there's 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 all these things that happens. Is this is a small event? This is this right here is just a basic thing that happened. It should not be touched by the politicians. They should know better. As a matter of fact, where's the prosecution? Why are they not? Because I mean, more likely this is something that's good for the prosecutor to open up his mouth. Normally, to open their mouth right away, start having their their stuff. But you're hearing stuff coming from the lawyer first. So the fact that we haven't even truly heard from the prosecutor's office, we haven't even heard from a a local politician within the first 24 hours that this has occurred. You haven't even heard anything coming from the Tulfos. Both both Tulfos. What I'm talking about is Bitag and um, Rafi Tulfo in action. You know, it it. I I believe the politicians are staying away from this because this could potentially be bad for them if it turns sideways that he becomes truly they give him in, they make him innocent or they just charge him for possession of a of an illegal weapon. So I I don't think it's it, it's going to happen. I think they know for a fact that this these type of events will not affect the tourism at all. You don't see anybody making these statements that we're not coming to the Philippines anymore. So so it's like it, it's it's something that I mean look, we already have enough enough kidnappings of Koreans and Chinese people that is seen a lot in the Manila that would prevent the Chinese people maybe or you know people to come to the Philippines but they still keep on coming so I, I don't think that this is going to cause um, any problems for people to come to the Philippines except I'll be honest on this except older foreigners. Well, I guess I'm just saying maybe it could be a good campaign rhetoric, but I, I don't want to go there anyway. Uh, there might be a lot of things that may happen. I think we might see something more after the Holy Week. Yeah, so sure. it, it, it could be anyone's guess. It's, you know, it, it could be anything. <laughs> That's what I can say. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It could, it could go anyway. But then at the same time, is if Holy Week's coming around the corner, maybe they might hit, give him some forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we might see Range 99 walking down with a cross down the street and start doing pug pug in his back and make himself bleed and get and, and get uh hanging the cross and stuff like that. Maybe that's gonna happen, you know? <laughs> so it's like maybe I mean uh, unlikely, it, but it could happen. They probably hey hey Mike, they probably prefer to see me do it. I'm talking about me with Range 999. Flagellant. Yeah. I'm going to be a flagellant. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought you carrying a cross, Heidi. I was like, well. No, I'm going to let him carry the cross and I'll follow him. Those crosses say, are heavy, guys. I've lifted no, one of them and dragged it. No, oh they're heavy. God. They're very heavy. Petro's like, yeah, those things. Are yeah, I can't do it. Right. Yeah. Thank it, you, it guys. Really hurts. Um, yeah. Sorry. I, I'll, I'll be stepping out for someone so someone can take over my spot. Salem, can I ask a question? Salem, can I ask a question? Are you Dilaw? Hindi. Hindi? Pula? Perfect. Which one ka? I am Dina. equally ap- just, apolitical. Just, I'm apolitical, I th- really. But do you... I, I look, it's okay. Like, Do you side more towards Dilaw? No. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. I was like, it's no. all good. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I stay away from politics i think i'm yeah. more of a self-reliance guy gotcha gotcha uh, gotcha yeah it's the same here in the u.s well thank you so much i'll be stepping off so somebody can step in thanks a lot Respect. Uh-huh. all right thanks a appreciate you mm. yeah yeah and guys just to clarify again no that is not gogo we've heard of gogo without a voice changer that's not that's not him yeah, you can tell and he's spoke, yes, you know. Gogo go, go is a guy, yes, for those of you guys again. He's not, um, well, I don't know if he's watching, but that's not him. Um, just to let you guys know. That guy was Filipino. <laughs> yeah, what's his name just said, yes, Heidi with the whip. That's what oh, I'm talking yeah, yeah, about. Oh, yeah, 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 Heidi with the whip, right. Well, it's. What'd you do with the whip last night? It's not really a whip. It's more like a, like a morning star-like device. Um, it's like a. A whip but on the end it has blades that are supposed to cut oh yeah and that's what makes that weird clacking noise like 
now there are newer devices for the less um hardened filipinos i guess there's ones that don't hurt as much um basically the even the flagellants back then that it's downgraded for more you know, weaker constitution people if that makes any sense for you guys i'm just trying to be political correct here without saying too much but anyway yeah no it's not the same as back then back then it was hardcore like and so i don't i think i even saw fake blood in one of the newer newer um possibly newer, um flagellants here have you, have you seen those photos with those um some of these some of these filipinas posing with those crosses like lately george like in social media they're all doing all sexy sexy photos sexy photos sexy sexy photos sexy sexy photos no yeah. oh well but you know I'm, but in the end that, that what michael did there for for michael you know i mean i can't believe for michael it's not like i'm doing a, a third party <laughs> right you know <laughs> but i mean what, what what if you saw you know you get the, the videos you're showing that when he was drinking and stuff like that that's one of the biggest no-nos that you don't do you don't you don't be the only white guy drinking you don't you don't be the only foreigner around filipinos on a thai guy session correct you don't do this again like yeah. what mike says lesson to be learned here drinking to sunrise never turns out well anywhere yeah, it doesn't I mean, not necessarily anything, philippines anywhere and anything could have happened after that yeah. 2 a.m footage too so here, here's a lesson to be learned if you're a foreigner in the philippines be inside by 12 o'clock right like if you go drinking sessions with people be the be the be the second person to leave that's that's my rule like don't 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 be the last person leaving don't want to be like you know you know it's like what's the term that the philip here's it okay here's a term the filipinos say when you when you start drinking one for the road right have you <laughs> when you have your when you have your tagai session like guys right. you have to understand the rules of tagai the rules of drinking with filipino people like it's like there's rules that are set in place there are people there's different individuals within the group that has their own um duties in a drinking thing if you don't have any of those duties your duty is to leave right away as soon as possible. You know, show that you want to you want to hang out, drink a little bit, but it's like you're starting to see a lot of these foreign people. And I think that I think a good way to look at it is I'll, we'll probably see more of these type of events happening to younger guys. I think the younger guys are going to be the one that's going to be having, you know, we'll say the young passport bros and stuff like that. I think those are the people that we're going to start seeing having more problems. Like it's this. not that it ain't the passport bros it's the passport joes that are going to have the problem them bros well, are going to keep coming there they're all going to keep i mean like like here's a good but example it's the joes right? that might be like oh my god in, anybody with the passports accent. will just say that oh, and, and but you know what you know the thing though is like remember everything goes by pattern right you know what hasn't happened a lot in this in the philippines yet Pay attention to what's happening to these dudes going to Colombia right now. Oh, yeah. Like, there's people dying in Colombia left and right lately. Okay? It, it's not happening in the Philippines yet, but it's going to pick up. Like, there's going to be some evil people be like, we need to start doing what they're doing in Colombia. Like, guys are being drugged in Colombia waking up without their stuff anymore. Like, oh, you mean without body parts? No, no, no. Like, all their clothing, all of their money, all their bags are gone. They... There's this thing called in the in, in the um in Colombia called the the devil's breath, also known as you know being scoped or what they call scopalamine, right? It makes you kind of have this hazy wake up the next day a little bit of you forgot that you know you, you'll have a you know this big haze in your fit in, in your sight or thinking, and so just to let you guys know, scopalamine is it is easily accessible in the Philippines. Okay, so once people start figuring these things out, people are going to it's going to eventually happen in the Philippines. You're going to start hearing the stories of guys getting, you know, not roofied. At least you're not going to wake up the next day with somebody just like what Joko says, you know, acting in your ass. <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know, saying that you, you're going to have to get ready for things that are happening. I think the younger guys are going to face more of these um, more of these guys getting killed or getting unalive. I think you're going to see a lot more of those happening with the younger guys because they want to party, they want to do all that stuff, and they don't have 
understanding on how to handle yourself. Um, and then we're just going to see the older guys get scammed in the in the larger sense of money. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. It, it just kind of sucks. It sucks that somebody had to die. It sucks that there's kids who are going to grow up without their father. That's the sucky part. And right. and all this stuff, is, it, it all in the end, it always happens to happen where the kids suffer for the mistakes of their parents. Right. Like, and especially his daughter, because he had custody of her and was living um, here with her from, um, I guess he had two babies from two different Thai wives and the one he actually had with them because it was really rotten they said yeah the, the um you know so now that kid is with the girlfriend i think it was and then so I now don't think she's, they weren't as i'm to understand uh, possibly living together but it's a lot of different things that are going on so they yeah. were saying it was just him and the daughter living in a separate place the other the to say is only his girlfriend i don't think they were living okay. together Okay, so but, and that's even worse. So who's gonna take right. care of the kid now? That's that's even far worse. So it's no, like it is right now. Yeah. So the parents has to come pick up pick up the kid now, you know. Then how you know it's like there's just so much stuff that, that goes on here because of this, and right. it could have been easily avoided because why the heck are you outside a casino, right, right. when the sun is up already? Uh. I mean, right. you pretty much close down the place, right? So it's like, you know, the, that's something that shouldn't be done. It, it's it's like. And I but, was actually wondering if he was there to get some paperwork, even if it is a Thai child, maybe he was trying to get the passport to travel with him and this girlfriend because they have done some traveling. So I'm wondering if he was there to actually do some paperwork yeah, with the consul, embassy. Consul is right there because yes. that's not his area. So mm. I think they yeah, were living. The they were in, uh, in there. they were up in Mualbal, I think is where they were at, or something like that. That's where right. they were supposed yeah. to be like living and stuff like that. So yeah. you know, in the end, it's like you know, I think it's going to be. We're going to find out soon enough if he's going to if Range Nine 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 is going to be charged and stuff like that. But it's like. I know one thing is like when somebody's about to get charged in the Philippines, the police, the prosecutor, especially a, 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 a high profile case like this, they'll actually be in the front talking a lot. And there's not a lot of talking going on anymore. Like mm -hmm. you, you're not seeing talking happening. Like if you go online, you go to the news, there's yeah, it's nothing. Been dead for a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why that's why even I'm saying I think he's gonna get away with he's gonna get away with something, and 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 I understand the sentiments of a lot of people getting upset about it. Like I can't believe an American see this is why whatever, and I'm just like, well, okay, I'm like, <laughs> it goes both ways sometimes, right? Sometimes it, it yeah, you that's know, what we were trying to say. Yeah, like might have went both ways for sure. It's just that this time on on this jump ball, it went to the Filipinos, it, or it, how about this? it might go to the filipinos Jump right board. so and and that that's the unfortunate you know part of this whole whole thing but so many there's so many things that could have been done range could have not showed up somebody should not have picked him up they should have not been outside he should not have been trustworthy there, that, yeah, you know it, 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 yeah so cuz here, here what okay so if if we Let's go with the conspiracy theory, right? Let's go with the conspiracy theory that they lured him outside, right? So if, if that's the conspiracy, if that's what's being talked to, he he was lured outside, and it was a trap. Okay, he got right. he, he got Admiral he got Admiral Akbar. Let's say he got Admiral Akbar. Um, that means he did and said something inside. Let's say he did not touch a girl. All right. Let's say he did, not, he did not do that. Okay. If he got lured outside by the drinking buddies that he thought he was with, that means he said something offensive that he did not. Well, it was said that it was Range's girlfriend in there or who he liked. That's what the UK paper is saying as of last night. Who liked the guy liked her? It, they're calling in, in a UK newspaper, The Sun, mm -hmm. they're saying that, that's what I was reading when you came on, that they're saying it's 
a girlfriend that was in the club of his. That okay. it was all a jealousy thing. And that's what these two girls that have been talking to us are saying also. It was all about jealousy. So it's and funny. That, they talked to us before the UK paper put that out. And so. that could be it. That, that could be good enough a woman. for it. Yeah, <laughs> that could be good enough for it. Once again, you, you, you do see that stuff when, you know, and let's say, for example, the woman is just one of those girls who will jump around from, you know, from good to good, whatever for her, right? Then right. also, that's also a big mistake of range to be able to then say that I'm going to defend this type of woman. It's his choice because there's women out there that unfortunately causes men to unalive each other on, on situations in bars and everything like that. Oh, yeah. And this is one perfect, one perfect example. They don't know the repercussion that men will sometimes blow, you know, get into physical altercations or any of that stuff. So, but my thing is that, you know, a UK paper talking about this, about something that happened in the Philippines. I mean, heck, they couldn't even figure out that Kate had a had cancer till she announced it. So I don't know. I oh, I, I well. don't know. But but at the same time, no, not like, that they have it all figured out. I'm not saying yeah, that either. No, nobody does. I think loose mm. lips sink ships, and I think these couple women that have been contacting us, I just, I mean, maybe it's because they see in the views on Facebook, and they're just reaching out for a moment of glory. Who knows? But yeah, some just, of it's kind of making sense. Yeah, just to clarify, Heidi said, um, "Loose bottom lips sink ships." Well, you know. What? <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. The okay, um, AJ again ma ma tell. made a good point here. Um, the lesson should be to drink with friends that you can trust and not alone and flash your wealth. Best to drink at home with people you trust and will be there for you. Even in the U.S., it's never a good idea to go out and have drinks without a wingman. Just saying, mm -hmm. even in the U.S. Well, here's the thing I want to tell you guys. Me and George, last year when we first moved in here, we've almost been here two years in the new place, is that George, when we first moved here, and I know you're going to argue with me about it, uh, he sat out like when it was getting dark and he was having drinks with a couple guys sitting on the outside of our gate. And he's just out there drinking with a couple Filipinos. But it was starting to get kind of late. And the guy said he was coming back. They went off to get food and it was starting to get late here. And me and George went into a full argument back and forth because he was going to go sit back out there at midnight drinking with some Filipinos. And I'm like, it's a new neighborhood. We don't know people. And believe me, we got into a full screaming match. And I'm like, George, I said, and George had already had a few drinks. So let's just say George was pretty loosey goosey at that point. And I said, George, I said, please do not sit out there. I was just getting this weird vibe. And we did get into it. And you you did say, well, it's just outside front of the house. And I know what I'm doing, but I was worried about you. I was really worried, but it was a pretty, pretty intense match. Now, so. the, to clarify part of that story, in my defense, just so you guys know, I'm always loosey-goosey. <laughs> the goose is loose. Los <laughs> young, los young. I was all right, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, you know oh, wait, in, in the end, oh well, we'll find out oh, what happens. Hey, please, guys. Just, just, just facts is, is in the room. Yeah, sorry, just facts. Thanks for messaging us. Um, just We're facts is in the room. Um, Mike, nice did to we, hear your voice. Real quick, Mike, yeah. did we miss you the other day? You said you had sent a message, something about was you in the room or you were just checking out the messages that day? No, I was in the room. Oh, see. He no, 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 no. Okay, she's asking if you were in the green room. That's no, I, I was in the green room, but then like I was like, okay, I'm, I'm like chilling. It was like around five oh, minutes okay. or something like that, okay. and then I was like, yeah, no, we didn't see you there. So yeah. So then I then I got hungry. So I was <laughs> like, Sorry, I was like, let me see. Yeah, no. I was like, let me see. Should I stay or eat my euros that I have that I can heat up? I was like, you know what? It's euro time. And oh man, I would, I would, I would. Yeah, what what up, just Jess? Call a gyro a euro. Hey, what's up, guys? I, I'm joking. I'm joking. I I, gyro, oh, it's a I, euro, you know, man. It, it's, it's a euro all the way. Yeah, it's, it's a euro. It's a euro. It's a euro. I called the white gyro. I was just trying to start crap. Um, hey, well, guys, welcome. Just hey, facts. Just facts. 
Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Good, hey, good, what, cool. what's new? Hey, what's up, Mike, a fellow uh, Chicago and Filipino? What's up? Hey, man, you're from Chicago? I grew up there, brother. 1973. Where at, Where at man? Skokie? No, uh, closer there, but uh, Edgewater area. Oh, snap. I was at 4101 North Oakley, man. Dude, we're, we were near Sun High School. The, uh, yeah. Or, by the uh, original uh, Lone Rangers uh, school. You at Sen? No, no, I, I didn't go to Sen. That's a fighting. Oh, that's a gladiator school yeah. right there, man. <laughs> I was don't tell me. The, school. The, oh, oh, good Lord. You're one of those, man. All right. Got uh, it. Hey, <laughs> just hey. you, man. Anyways, I just want to set the things clear, guys. Uh, you know, my, I don't want to brag or I'm not bragging or I'm not. I got something against uh, foreigners or anything like that. Uh, from my past history, I'm I, I'm a retired cop out here in L.A. And uh, now I do some P.I. work and I do defense work for, uh, you know, for the defense for the M-word guys and uh, robbery guys and all that stuff. Things like this, like I've been saying, um, f- from the video, that's what you got to look at. You can't take your personal feelings. Uh, it, it's them against us and your uh, a certain group against a certain group. <clears throat> the fact of a court, because you got to put yourself, if this happens to you, they're going to ask you, what the hell did you do? Why did you do it? It's not what people see. What did that person think? Now, from the drinking in the bar and uh, whatever he did, they did all that happy stuff with, and it turned into uh, whatever. That's besides the point. At that point, on that video, that's the one of the biggest evidence that a uh, a victim uh, a victim could put on on, on a on a suspect or a suspect that, that he can use for to defend himself. You got to put yourself in that guy's shoes or both of their shoes, mm-hmm. and that's what counts. Because whatever other stuff goes on, the political, whatever, uh, it doesn't matter. How many times you hear? All these other cases, and all of a sudden, hey, he got he got off. Look at OJ. You know, we were dealing with that. We get Rodney King thing, all those things. I was part of all this stuff here. So, but the thing is, for court cases, I'm sure people here have been victims or have gotten t- tickets. It's your word, and it has to be presented to the court. It's not what, because he was a nice guy. That's fine. I'm sure he was a great guy. But the fact of the matter is when the guy start blocking the, uh, the the path, starts posturing, you know, he they probably knew this guy was an MMA fighter. Let's just say, you know, an MMA fighter, everybody that knows an MMA fighter can great can do great bodily harm to another normal person. Yeah. People say, oh, yeah, I'm going to fight him. Great. That's good. But other people are different. How many people you see on these videos, these dash cams or these police camps, they get shot approaching a car because they were in fear for their life or their safety or to fear for the, uh, the life of their, their kids. It doesn't make it right. This guy's got to live what he did for what, what he did. OK, he's got to live with that for the rest of his life. And it, it, it's a tragedy that this occurred. But the fact is, you guys got to people got to look at what goes on in a court. Not not public opinion. It doesn't well, matter. Um, mm-hmm. I actually feel on the side. I got that point. And that what you're saying is kind of a point that we, Mike, that I heard you talk about. You guys are talking from mm-hmm. the legal standpoint. We also wanted to put out the actual other side. Also, of, that's true. That's, you that's, know, that's, that's, I mean, that's, there there are other things. And now that these girls are talking, it's kind of like I, you know, from the footage that we seen. We got where the legal standpoint is going to start. For sure. 100%. We're yeah. pretty sure, too, that he's going to possibly get off. You know, the gun charges is what George and me were talking about yesterday. Probably the the least he's actually going to see yeah, and everything. I, but there's that's, that's true, Heidi. the sad that's, part about the kids and that's true. the sad part about, you know, the shock that's going on in the U.S. from reading his Instagram, the people from MMA, all of this stuff. It's just kind of, you know. I always go go with the human side. Also, I'm I'm. You know, that's true. That that's true. But the, 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 you guys got to look at. It. There's there's no crime against jealousy. There's no crime against right. mental illness. There's no right. crime against being discourteous. 
You got to look at the crime. The fact is, what is it in the law books? Was their intent? Was their intent to commit an M word on this guy when he got out of the car or he approached him? He got in a pissing contest. He backed off, went in the car, and from the per the video, he got in the path of the vehicle, start posturing. This guy's a known well fighter, whatever he is. These MMA guys will crush your head, put you in a chokehold, you're done. Okay. Yeah. So that if he, if if that's in his head, okay, you got to put your forget everybody outside. What was this guy doing in the back? What was he thinking? Yeah. This guy that now this guy's walking up to the car. Imagine you're in that car, and this guy's a uh, this guy's a, a dude that can uh, crush you. What will you do? That's what you got to like. What would a normal person do? Other guys say, I'll, I'll fight him. Cool, fight him. But the fact is, he he chose the wrong. He chose the thing where he had a weapon, and he used it. Okay. Now, granted, yeah, it was it was overkill what he did. Now he's got to live with that. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna have he's gonna have the possession charge for an illegal firearm. Or he didn't have a license, or whatever, whatever that is. Okay. But you got to prove the intent. If that's not there, that's that's what like, the, the court throws it out. Or even one juror, let's say in the U.S., if there's one juror that says, hey, man, I, I believe the guy, he was afraid. That throws off the case. That throws off the court case. Okay? So th so that that's what you got to look at. You got to put it, it, it's not right what he did. It's not right, right, right what he, I'm not saying condoning any of that stuff. I'm not condoning any kind of people, anything hurting other yeah. people. You know, no one is. Okay, but the fact is, we got to look at because it's it's on video. People are talking about it, you can't, and all these things are flying around. Yeah, and they're letting and their that's... personal feelings get involved, get in the way of their uh, getting get, get involved uh, b before the prior to the facts. You got to look at the facts because if you don't look at the facts, that's a that's a that's a disservice to the victim or the family or wherever it is. You give it a high hopes. Yeah, he's gonna get off. He's gonna you know, it doesn't matter. He committed an act of taking somebody's life. He's got to live with that. Okay. He, he felt that whatever he, you know, whatever his excuse was. Yeah. They were, uh, uh, they were, what do you call it? Uh, touching the, the women's, whatever. That doesn't matter. It's the act at that moment, at that time. And if this, if this was here, there'd be police tape out there and, and where he was at, they'd be trajectory where that bullet was headed. He didn't do a coup de grave, this guy, while he's on the ground. Okay? He's in the... You got to look at the angle where he was sitting. Where is he sitting? Was he standing? Did he pistol whip him? All that stuff matters. You know? Every single thing. That's how... you got. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going on. Because I, I'm into the law. You know, I, I do a lot of work with that stuff. But the fact is, is that this is just, a, this is just another tragedy. You know? It happens here all the time. You know? People don't realize, you know, there's, you know, people go over there. There's an animosity to swear some people. Hey, yeah, they're talking to my girl, whatever. It happens here, too. You know? So it's not just Filipino against foreign or whatever it is. It's the fact that human beings got in an argument and that occurred. So anyway, that's, I just want to say that. Well, and that's why what Hector Guba just says, key evidence that many prove intent may be in the cell phones used by the Qs prior to the alleged deed. I wonder if, now, see, that's the thing, is if they do or did not subpoena the the cell phone records, that is key to, again, intent. There's a lot we don't know. Yeah, yeah, right. see, now, there's, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of things we don't know. And unfortunately, yeah. again, regardless of what intent, range 999 did and regardless of what intent that michael did yeah. again it's that, that, kind of unfortunately out of our hands out yeah of that's another that's another hands. position that's that's another position that people are taking yeah they lured him okay it, it could very well be that he they did lure him but did they commit did, did they make commit the complete act of luring him to commit an assault with a deadly weapon did they come <laughs> did, did they do that no he backed off. He backed off. If they were going to lure him and do that, whatever, whatever they, they, they call this lying and wait, the, the premedi premeditated, you know, premeditated <laughs> murder, when they call it, it's lying and wait. You know, when they have that premeditated M word called uh, lying and wait. 
Okay, it's not there. It's not complete. The act of that uh, crime is not there. Yeah, the backup is the one where it just because if it was intent, he would have parked the car, got out of the car, popped him right away. If that was the plan right to pop him, exactly. That that will be that will be the the way that worked. And then you know, also with the fact that if he got lured outside, why did it take so long? He was already surrounded. And if you were really luring, why is there only one guy that went and attacked, and that was it? Because if it was a if it was a Filipino beatdown, it would have been three guys right away on him, and it just wasn't. So it's like. You know, just it, it's just it, I think we'll just find I mean, but the thing though is with what and then this is a problem also with with how it goes, because if after after let's say this, let's say this, this does go to court and stuff like that. You know, I just like I said the other day on my live, I did the I did a quick question of how many people think that um, how many people did how many people did not know that they don't have a jury system in the Philippines was my question. And in in that live almost 90% did not know that there is no such thing as a jury system in the Philippines. Then I did the poll on my community page. It's only showed 60% new that um, out of 150 votes, 60% new. I mean, did not know that there was a jury system in the Philippines. That's, you know, all you need to do is, is prove it to the judge. If you, if you can just give doubt to the judge, it's the case is done. That's wow. all. That's all that, that goes on with this stuff. So, yeah, actually, yeah. I was going to say same thing with what Mike is actually saying exactly. And to make it worse, the probability is, guess what? It's going to be a Filipino judge. And some of you... Of course it is. <laughs> some of you got... Well, what I'm saying is it may be a small detail, but it's a major detail. It's kind of like one of those subliminally range 999 implanted that he's doing the right thing for the Filipino people. Regardless of the judge, that part will always stick in his head. And it's far worse if the judge is from University of the Philippines. That's all I gotta say. Oh, right. If, from USC, if that judge and, is from the University of the and, Philippines, and the 90%. odds are he's gonna be Silvano. And... Well, the other side. What I was telling George is, I get yours and Mike's, you know, discussion. I was, just, and I'm gonna say my piece on this is that the man's reputation is also being trashed. Both of them, actually. We've yeah. heard so many different sides of this. It's been actually unreal. But, you know. Well, like I, I said, it, it doesn't matter what I think, what you think, what Mike thinks, what Just Facts thinks, what Bruce Davis thinks. I'm just yeah, wording no, out words. No, you, I it know, I it all that. ends in the judge. Because, again, and I say unfortunately, regardless of judge, Thanks, odds are, odds are, the judge is going to be Filipino. Odds are the judge is going to be Cebuano. So there's odds going to are, be regardless, he's going to get off. Odds are any of he's going to have some form of prejudice, not. regardless of how well that judge is brought up. It's just a yeah. fact. And it's kind of like now here's the thing I just uh, somewhat disagree on again. Um, honestly, speaking from well, again traveling in different thing, but I get it. well what i'm saying is traveling from different countries and interacting with locals here's a fact and again this is somewhat where i disagree is you don't have to do anything wrong or say anything wrong to be assaulted True. it's like saying that you know a great victim is because they have the way they dress no i have been almost assaulted several times in the in the west not because of i said anything wrong not because i did anything wrong it's because of my the color of my skin now keep in mind mm -hmm. it's an expat versus filipino i'm not saying that range 999 has some well no i'm sure he has his own prejudices but i'm not saying but point being is uh, the, you don't have to do anything wrong to be assaulted because in the end Regardless of assault, regardless of crime, it is never personal. The person does something wrong, not because of the victim. They do something because of their own being. In other words, it wouldn't matter if he was American or not. It could have just been another Filipino that night. Wrong person, wrong time. Yeah, we said the wrong However, time. you can highlight yourself. You can say something that will trigger or highlight yourself 
But I'm just saying, in well, the, yeah, if he in was the giving end, giving the tips like our friends that have been contacting us said, giving out money, being flashy, girls flocking to him, all of this stuff. He was really standing out. We said, don't be flashy in public. All right. So, it's kind of like corn serial killers. They bragging don't, about being the a victim MMA didn't fighter. Ask for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. That part, I kind of uh, somewhat disagree only because, again, I'm just saying, I'm you know, very being impartial here. Yeah. And if he can, and if he can afford a good lawyer too, that that well, that changes everything. Oh yeah, too. we said that's gonna play so, a I big mean, part if he raises he, he, that money. I'll tell you one thing: if I was, let's say, for example, his producer, I'll be like, let's make sure he gets a good lawyer because we might make some money from him once. Like, you know, he's gonna, he's always gonna remember that he almost went to jail. Let's say, for example, he gets out, right? He's always gonna remember that he was almost in jail. But at the very same time as he might snap out of it and be like, this is street cred, baby. How many well, of these other rappers can say that then. they that they pop someone? Right. So, you know, th this is the unfortunate part of the whole thing. In the end, both sides made mistakes. So if both sides right. made mistakes, then we should also say both sides deserve the the trolling that they're getting, unfortunately, as well, because. If they did not do what they if they did not do what they did, this wouldn't be here. And that's the problem that that happens here is just that, yeah, it sucks the credibility of Range 999 is being is 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 happening on his side. And it sucks that this person, Michael Rashi or whatever his name is, you know, he's getting the brunt of it as well. It's kind of nice that it's starting to even out that there are people now defending him or at least backing him up there's the both sides and the best way to also look at it is just look at watching the video so many people have watched that video yet so many people have a different opinion right on and that I video that's why we needed to say something because up to the point we start covering it with the new video and the points we've been making we've been reading story after story and hearing other yeah. vloggers not you but others i've seen a bunch of them in dumageddy covering yeah. this and they're actually it's it's kind of like oh but he was touching the girls in the bar and i said there's got to be another side to this so yeah and in, in the end for me and just like even with what just was doing and stuff like that is the fact that who cares what happened in the club who ha who cares happened prior to that for now, not unless you're going to show the intent later on, they can figure that stuff up. But what you have to look at is what happened when he arrived to the scene right. on that sense. That's, that's the key part there. Now, if then they're going to have, if they subpoena the messages, they see the messages like, Hey, come over here and bring your gun and kill this guy there. Yeah. Then he was driving there with intent to unalive the guy. Right. But yeah. then at the very same time is, if they just said, hey, come here, somebody's messing with your girl, that's not intent of him unaliving the person. That's just him, yeah. oh, somebody's messing with my girl. So it's just, in the end, who has a better lawyer? Right. Is the lawyer going to be better than, you know, um, the prosecutor? Is the lawyer better at creating a story that's going to put in the mind of the judge that, because I know a lot of guys who got who who got got free. Because I know several the girl guys. that I'm in contact with is actually thinking <clears throat> he'll be paid. All the, right. Who they yeah. actually pay. But anyways, guys, I'm going to um, go. And yeah. actually, real quick, I care <laughs> about what happens. I get the law and everything. Because if that was you, Mike, and, and I mean this from bottom of my heart, I'd be doing the same thing for you, brother. If somebody no, was I, I, I in the club, I appreciate we would have been at it the same. And, so. And there's going to be a lot of people out emotion. there that's going to be rejoicing and having a party. Not and they're like, yay, Michael died. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of those people, too. He you deserved do, it. Do, he opened his mouth so much. And, you know, that's just why, you know, this and that. I mean, that, that's just how it is, right? People yeah. want to see people fail sometimes and stuff like that. I appreciate the backup, Heidi. But I know one thing is that I'm not going to put myself in that position to be there. Well, I'm not that Ah, uh, you never know. You might have been there getting something done at the embassy, and you got one drink in you after. No, you never know. You I never say, know I what happens. Got myself in a sticky situation like I was in Mexico. Well, I but... sure want some sticky icky right now, but I can't get one. But <laughs> no, I'm, you ain't no sticky stick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out now, Eddie. Later, Heidi. <laughs> yeah, Eddie, yep. you're creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see, thank All right, you, thanks, Mike. Mike. Appreciate you.
Hey, All right. It's like a, who did that? Um, that was um, oh, I'll think of the movie, but yeah, Fatal Attraction. When Glenn Close was sitting on the floor and she's flipping on the light on and off after her psycho moment, and oh. she was flipping her light on and off. Anyways, God, that was a long time ago. God, that had to be in 1988. So what is going on, Andy? Oh, hi. Just here wondering, just making opinions. Um, I, I think the range guy, he's probably going to get one of the best legal defenses out there. Um, yes. My opinion is that money now. there will be attorneys who want that free publicity, law yes. firms, and mm -hmm. they will find angles and they will put themselves on the line. Marketing is expensive in the Philippines. And if they can do yes. that and pull it off, whoo. That'll be good for them. Right. How many pro yeah. bonos out there? I mean, of course, you know, there's going to be a, you know, they're, they're going to figure out something later on. Like you'll owe me something of some records or something like that later on. But his, th that's what uh, Mike, like Mike said, his street cred is going to go up. His fame is already up there. Oh and yeah. This journey can pull it off. Yeah. I so, mean, he was already there, but I looked at like, I think he hardly has any Instagram. As YouTube was there, but the Facebook, I think, was only like at 100,000 last year. So, in other words, his videos would have like on Facebook 6,000, 8,000. Now they're at 500,000. And so, the more this goes on, yes, his numbers on everything are skyrocketing. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's front page news. And anybody or Filipino, rather, who's like, oh, hey, let me check this out. And then they're going to go and like, oh, he's got actually good music on. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, it is free publicity, bad publicity, but yeah, so free publicity. Yeah, and then the attorneys, <laughs> as far as the attorneys concerned, the probability of those attorneys, going to be honest with you, as far as representing Caucasian clients, is extremely next to none. So they have mm -hmm. nothing to lose in standing up for range nine 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 nine. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They have nothing to lose, and if they win the case, they'll be heroes in the eyes of. Sabuanos and beside him. You know what I'm saying? So it's a win win for the attorneys, even if they do it pro bono. That's like Andy Omer says mm -hmm. it's free publicity, it's big publicity, and there is no downside if they lose. Big time. Yeah. There is. There's not. I I think that that's gonna, it's gonna happen. I think probably more people are gonna speak up or more surprise as I predicted before, more surprise witnesses are gonna come up defending the guy. Um, I actually saw a video. I'll, I'll put a link or you can watch it's a Facebook reel on the private chat. And he's actually there getting weapons training and stuff. Range nine oh, nine. Yes. No, we've yes. seen that one. Yeah, yes. we've seen Crazy. that one a couple days ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where he's got two different, he's got two different types of weapons, yes. And yeah, yeah he, so he's getting weapons training. So obviously he knew where to shoot. He was shooting in the foot. He was shooting in the shoulders. He wasn't shooting any vital organ whatsoever. So the guy is basically training. He yeah, but the medical care probably failed him on the way to the hospital or thereafter. So. Oh, yeah. Because we so, were discussing that when we called the hospitals on Monday, um, and then they pronounced him deceased on Tuesday. Uh, the hospitals did not have any patients that were in a room. <laughs> and I called all the hospitals surrounding that on Monday. But when I went to the MMA sites, I was saying this yesterday, they actually were saying rest in peace. And I told George, I said, they probably already informed the family. So if there were rest in peace on Mondays and they didn't announce it till Tuesday, they just didn't release full everything but yeah it was we said that the medical care is probably what had failed him in the ambulance or there at the hospital although it was a private hospital that he went to mm. so, yeah. well and then guys most of you guys aren't aware of, of how um a 45 works it's not that easy to fix uh 38 versus a 45 as far as that type of injury is concerned for 45s are meant to again drop you literally and then you're gonna you're technically supposed to expire within within a minute i'm just letting you guys know to, to just so you guys know 38 and 38 is the standard police issue but 45s are 
uh, really meant to take take you down. And I mean, I'm just saying literally, um, big difference, big difference. Was there any news that it was like one of those Baltic weapons or one of those made ones, or was it an actual? No, it was an actual weapon? firearm. Yeah. Um, as Neil says, Andy, I would see if you would survive two shots from a forty-five. That's why I said, yeah, um, yeah. forty-fives are meant to take you down, and I mean permanently. Um, that's why police don't use forty-fives; they use thirty-eights. Um, there's actually reason, small details, but big, big details at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. I think we are going to wrap this live stream up. We appreciate you dropping in, and thank you, Andy, Just, so much, Andy. Yeah, thanks, appreciate Andy, it. for coming in. Thanks, guys, for actually dropping in our live streams. We actually had some members in here. Ted, thank you for being here, and Scott, in the world as I see it. Sarah was in the house. I seen Victoria, uh, Bruce Davis. Hey, thank you, Illuminar. Uh, was in the house. Andy, thank you. Mike's Philippine Journey. Um, go on over and check out Mike's Philippine Journey. Um, he, I believe he has a live stream today. He does like to. Um, he's been a great guest that comes over here on the channel, so we appreciate him being here. Hey, hi, this is Dave. What's going on? It's good to see you. Uh, who else? We have Chippy in the house. Hector Gubat. Neil. Hector Guba. Thank you. Ryan Day. Ryan just, Day facts. just facts. Yeah, just thank facts. You. Thing. No, so that's, much just facts I definitely understand this. the legal side of it. It just my heart goes out because that's what's going to happen. Michael is going to fade into even if he made a mistake and he stayed out drinking all night and he was friends in the beginning. Even if he befriended a girl in there, whatever rumors are all going around. In the end, this rapper, it, it, he's just going to fade away. And that's what makes me sad and emotional as a woman is that he will be overshadowed times a thousand. So would any regular person, but he, he will because of this rapper now. And, you know, his video shows he's living that life. Then the videos that are coming out and people are, you know, coming over, bringing him food and, hey, he's defending you know, Filipinas and all, all of this to me is just all sad. So, and my gut feeling is, is he's going to get out. I think he'll be on minimal charges and they'll get him out or here in the Philippines, it could be paid justice because it's a lot easier here than anywhere. And that's going to be the end of it. And then the guy will never be hurt. And whether it is, whether it is, um, whether it's, you know, the guy up the street that's a British guy or an American, I would still be saying the same on that. So, but we appreciate you guys yeah, stopping. Thank you so much, in. guys. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Thank Love you. you guys. Bye, Bye. guys.